these people we never thought of as funny. Look at here's an Academy Award winner. Here is O.J. Simpson. The greatest football player that ever lived. O.J.'s in the <laughs> hospital. You are a very good actor. I do not patronize you to say that. You are a very good actor. People know me more from the Hertz commercials. I got that in. I'm getting along. I'm actually doing a TV series for NBC that starts later this month called The Frogman. I just hope NBC gives me some of that money. Oh. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't remind me. Don't remind me. I'm Mary Hart at the Entertainment Tonight studios in Hollywood. We have an exclusive on the OJ film The Police Want to See. You get to see it right here. Really There's does. a fairly good chance that O.J. Simpson's biggest movie role will never see the light of day, except perhaps as a piece of evidence in open court. Now, Simpson plays the lead in Frogman, a made-for-TV movie that promised to make him the next big action hero. Entertainment Tonight was there before O.J. Simpson's fortunes declined, and as you watch, keep in mind how O.J.'s life has dramatically changed. Look, you can't walk, I'll carry you. I walk. This is a scene from Frogman, the world's most talked about movie. And only Entertainment Tonight can show it to you. Oh, that guy. <laughs> that OJ is great. <laughs> Our production team was the only one cleared to visit this set in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And what we saw there was a film being built around the heroic image of OJ Simpson. I'm wetting camera, them huh? down so it looks like we came we out like out of the O.J. was cast as John Bullfrog Burke. He was leading a band of former Navy SEALs. This mission was capturing and exchanging a fugitive for a kidnapped victim. Cut, cut, cut. Look, there's something I'd like to explain. You remember you were 13 and you ran away from home and took that bus across country? We were there when a pivotal scene was being shot in this oceanfront cemetery. Simpson and Roxanne Beckford are a father and long-estranged daughter who reunite at the grave of Simpson's fictional ex-wife. When Mom was sick, she liked to listen to Andy tell stories about you, too. The setting now seems macabre, but back in April, Simpson joked about the location and about playing a father. We're the most lively people in the place. <laughs> well, there was that grave that's open, partially. There is. You see that open grave? You see it? It's, there's a... Yeah. <laughs> I knew him rip the old pal of mine. Father, daughter. Is this, this, is not our, this is not our wedding. This is not the wedding scene. This is asking forgiveness of your previous house yeah, yeah. and going. I thought we were getting married here. While we were covering this story, Simpson constantly referred to his family. While introducing us to his co-stars, Todd Allen, Dan Gautier, and Louis Mandalor, he seemingly mentions Nicole and Arnell Simpson. I think all the girls are going to be crazy about this guy. They already are because of a certain burger commercial that he does. My daughter and my wife knew who he was when they saw he's a guy from the... Can it's I my say brother. the name of a burger? My brother. As he prepared for this water rescue scene, Simpson spoke about his two younger children. I'm not the greatest swimmer. My kids, uh, my kids love the water. And I have a house, or I've had a house for the last 10 years down in Laguna for the summers, uh, right on the beach. So I get in the ocean a little bit. And give him action, please. Action. Action. Simpson told us he trained with former Navy SEALs for this role, but he insisted that this film and a possible series spin-off would downplay violence. A lot of our storyline will not have to do with violence. It has more to do with rescue operations, protection, stuff like that. During our exclusive visit, Simpson was outfitted with guns, but he never wore or used a knife. You got your wetsuit, and you got your weapons, and all of them are basically waterproof. Silencer on your automatic weapon, pistol, ammunition. And the former football hero was a real team player on the shoot. When we needed a second take of an opening, he gladly obliged. The next time I'm joining the Army, I'm joining the Army the next time. I'm staying on land. These feet was made for land, not for the water. His co-stars thought the world of O.J. 
people are always coming up to him and stuff, and he's just more, he's one of the most pleasurable people I've ever met in this business like that. A great guy, very smart, and he just fits the character, you know, he's very athletic, he's a big, big, strong man, and uh, he's doing a great job. The fully edited version of Frogman now sits in a film vault under lock and key. Its star is, of course, behind bars, but for a few days in April, O.J. Simpson's future did look bright indeed. Well, I am an action hero. <laughs> no, you know, obviously every kid dreams about doing stuff like this. And it is fun, but sometimes it works. What makes this so haunting is that this was a routine on-location shoot for entertainment tonight. Mm -hmm. And now you find yourself, and I'm sure everybody at home finds themselves, hanging on every word that he says. Exactly. And, and you do see the stark contrast. He's the happy-go-lucky, very amiable, and, uh, you know, man with a sense of humor there that so many of us know so well, as opposed to the man sitting in court and right. under very serious circumstances. Indeed. Yeah. Watching my dreams yeah. turn into yeah. ashes. What's the matter? Am I doing something wrong? What's the matter? Am I doing something wrong? What's the matter? Am I doing something wrong? I'm ready for this, boy. This is happening. All right, rolling. I just like about it. She hurts it. Hey, I gotta you be honest. This? I don't know her well enough to be in love with her. What's the matter? Am I doing something wrong? Country girl. This girl eats stuff I don't eat. But I eat something that she has never eaten. Bing. Rolling. <laughs> All right, I've been doing a lot better since I've been doing that basketball shuffle from my video. <laughs> Not bad for an old football player. Eat your heart out, Shaquille. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tennis, anyone? <laughs> oh, yes. I like that. That back end going. I was deadly with my back end. Well, I used to walk on the wild side. Now I just take brisk walks. How you doing? And the thing about this house, it's such got great curb of the appeal. Curb is beautiful, but the house, the house is so chopped up, you'd have no idea. Huh? Yeah, people coming after you too. <laughs> Jesus, Chills, you don't have to kill yourself. Okay, if you don't believe me, good. Okay, if you don't believe me, good. Okay, if you don't believe me, good. My favorite sport's coming up. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Actually, it is a great sport. It's a great physical workout. Here. Now, OJ, I warn you, you come near me, man. This left hand. I'm telling you, you just got to get your space in if you're working out with the wife, if you know what I mean. You can always blame it on uh, working out. <laughs> and if you got a lot of stress and some anger, try to visualize. You know, with me, I always visualize uh, Mount St. Helens, believe it or not. You know, guys, cough up the ball when they got hit. <sighs> Think about all of that pressure that build up build up and all of a sudden I see and I can feel that explosion and, and all of the dirt and all the stuff being forced into the atmosphere. Then I think about that dust beginning to settle and I see it settling and I see the breezes blowing it away. <sighs> you know, then I can see the grass beginning to grow and the hillsides becoming green again. I know it sounds a little silly and a little corny, but it helps me. It calms me down. You know, I can almost reach you from here. Yeah, well, I yeah. tell you what, you got to watch it at home. You want to get too close to the wife when you're doing this exercise. <laughs> and I don't have any shortcuts or tricks, but I have learned a few methods to help me change my bad habits into good habits, to help me deal with the stresses in my life, like traveling, living in hotels, and not getting enough sleep. It's not important if you win or lose until you lose. <laughs> Ready, let's go. Here. 
Now, OJ, I'm warning you. You come near me, man. This left hand. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just got to get your space in if you're working out with the wife, if you know what I mean. You can always blame it on uh, working out. <laughs> I learned early in life, watching two kids in my neighborhood fight, that the toughest kid weren't always a kid that won. Just like fights a day, just like business a day. I like to get out on the golf ball course. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Two. Looking good. And I was, I like this whole thing. <laughs> Then I tried to put some extra shit in there. Jesus, I just transition here. I always screw up. I've screwed it up every time. Okay, where was I there? Then I tried to put some extra shit in there. I showed butt when I was sitting down. Jesus, dick. He's a dog. I'm faking somebody. It's so hard on mine. Been broke a thousand times. I'm still singing. I'm like dancing. See what I mean? Get loose and I feel like going. You know, getting ju loose juice, as they call it. <laughs> you got no chance, guard. Yeah, even. watch this. I don't even like to look like these girls. <laughs> or even these guys. Forget these guys. Hey! <laughs> tick, tick, come on. And Juice, you gotta do this shit from the top and get it all the way through without any shit. <laughs> God damn, man. That's You're so hard on mine, been broke a thousand oh, times. Yeah, see you know. Been broke twice at least. <laughs> Bottom line is, when you're feeling healthy and fit, you'll achieve more at work, cope better on the road, enjoy yourself more at play, and be a better husband and father and lover at home. Really quiet. Jesus, Jesus. What's the matter? Am I doing something wrong? <sighs> I learned early in life watching two kids in my neighborhood fight. Yeah. <laughs> I always screw up. Went out of my ear. I like this whole thing. Loose juice, goddamn. A bottle? Jesus, I was flying. You just can't stop. It. It's so hard on my. That is terrific. Just remember one thing. This is not a competition. It's an exercise for you to feel better. So just do as much as you can do. And do it a few times a week if you can. Carry this tape with you on the road. You'll feel a lot better. We just want you to look good and feel good. And you do this, I guarantee you, you will. You bet. All right, All right guys. Yeah. <laughs>
at a couple of million frequent flyer miles ago, but fortunately not a few pounds ago. That's what I'm here for, to remind you that we're not the same body type that we used to be. If you don't believe me, just go into your closet, take out those old jeans you got hanging in there and try to put those on. <laughs> We can't eat as much pizza, drink as much beer, put away as much cheesecake. I can't eat the same way today that I did 15 years ago, but right now, I'm weighing exactly what I weighed when I retired, 212 pounds. At one time, I did put on about 15 extra pounds. I had to catch myself. I had to realize that juice, you gotta be a lot smarter about what you eat and how much you eat. I used to be one of these guys that went out dancing a couple of days a week. In a way, that was my aerobic exercise. Today with my schedule, hey, I just don't have the opportunity. I don't have the time. And with the free time that I do have, I like to get up early, get out on that golf course, and hit that little white ball. <laughs> so now, now I have to make a conscious effort at getting that cardiovascular exercise to get some physical exercise. We got to do it. So here's the game plan, and it's pretty simple. Work out. Eat smarter, sweat a little. What I'm saying is you got to make an effort, but we're going to make it as painless as possible. We're calling it minimum maintenance. You'll feel and look a lot better. But remember the first word in workout is work. I don't have any shortcuts or any tricks, but I've learned a few methods over the years that help turn my bad habits into good habits and deal with the stressors in my life, like traveling, living in hotels, and not getting enough sleep. Now, for those of you who might have an alert area like I do, a bad knee, a bad ankle, even a bad back, there are ways to work around that. Later, I'm going to show you some five-minute exercise routines that you can do in your home, your office, even on an airplane. And if you don't know the difference between a carbohydrate and a carburetor, we're going to clear up all the confusion. Minimum maintenance has no gimmicks, no machines, no special equipment. Just you and your body and a little motivation. Feeling better about yourself is the bottom line. So let's get into some minimum maintenance. All right, what we're going to start with is what we call easy impact. It's athletic, it's physical, and there's no dancing. What we've done is we've taken a lot of moves that you would use if you were competing in a sport and incorporated them in a cardiovascular workout for you ex-jocks, uh, weekend athletes, and some of you couch potatoes out there. I know you guys can handle it. And here to help us with it is one of the best motivators I know, personal trainer Richard Walsh. Thanks, OJ. All you guys have to do is be consistent with your workout and you're going to lose fat. It's that simple. We're also going to increase your energy, strengthen our joints, improve the shape of the muscles, get a nice flexibility going for us. We're going to do it all in 25 minutes, three days a week. Okay, now this isn't a conventional aerobics uh, workout. It's something that anybody should be able to That's do. Right. If there's any part of this that you can't do, just don't do it. And sometimes there's some alternate things you can do that'll help you out. But we'll show you as we go along. Right. Why don't we get started, Dan? All set? Right. All right. Let's get going. Going with just a real little bit of a warm up here just to elevate heart rate. Get a little blood and oxygen going. So take her nice and easy, and next we'll just touch on some stuff, okay? That's right. Just take a nice simple walk. We're ready to take some arms overhead. Alright, here we go. Up and down in front. Let's do it again. Good, let's open up. We're just gonna touch on some calves here. When we do this, keep the legs straight but the knees soft. How the shoulders today, OJ? Right, let's try it, huh? All right. Oh, this is a good. tight area, is it? Yeah. That's it. Better take them both right here. Yeah, roll this down and back just a little bit. See, like men are always holding that stress up in this area. Okay, let's sit her down. Ready? Let's go. I get used to this. All right, get a good knee bend, you guys. How about a reach? How does this help your golf game? This is great for my lower back, I can tell you that. Let's do it again then. Ready, here we go. Nice and simple. The whole thing about playing golf is getting a turn. That's it. Gotta turn that waist up. Let's take the arm over the head. I mean, I can get down in the 70s just by doing that. Yeah. You tell me. 
Okay, my favorite. Little ice skating movement right here. At least it kind of looks like an ice skating yeah. movement. Yeah. Let's take one arm with it. We're just gonna kind of copy an ice skating movement. Oh, ice skating, yeah. Yeah, you see those guys going down the ice, man? They got the legs rear going on. Let's say we take a step together. Oh yeah, we getting there now. Yeah, stay down nice and low, you guys. Ah, let both arms stretch out. Here we go. Now I got the air kite. That's it. Man. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Speaking of backs, OJ, let's take a step out and get the back. Here we go, round, and we'll press it. Oh, man. Now, if you haven't worked out in weeks or years, you should be able to do this. Yep, exactly right. Careful on that lower back. Let's go one more time like this. Okay, let's hold it right here. All we can do is take one shoulder up in the air. This is called a static stretch. Just put it in holding it. Good, let's bring it to the center. We're just gonna open up this inner thigh here. You don't have to be real low here. Oh, this really is open something that I would have a problem with because of my knees. Yeah. But I, let's go ahead and turn the other way. I do feel the good stretch inside there. Yep. Good, let's bring it back center and then we'll go to the other leg here. So open up the inner thigh. Once again, exercise one. It doesn't need to be difficult. A little stretch in there. Good, let's bring it center and we're gonna take it over to a calf stretch. Now, before you do any physical activity, like we talked about before, get those calves loose. We brought some blood knocks in there, now we're stretching it. Let's go down to my favorite OJ stance here. Right. What we're actually doing is dropping the hip a little bit, opening the hip flexor. Try to keep the spine real long. Good, let's knead the floor. Okay, now this is something that I would have a little trouble doing because of my bad knee. Now, does this work for this? That works can real I go good. Back and go the opposite just way. Just lengthening that hamstring right through there. And all we can do is stand right here, and that's just fine. Let's go to push-up position. Okay, ready? Let's go. Here. Whole idea behind doing a few push-ups in the warm-up, just put a little weight on the upper body. Don't have to be real low. Just keep the abdominals tight, the rear tight. Should I tell them? Yeah. Practice good, man. You have a lot ahead of you. Good. Let's bring this up. Take a real easy walk. All right, let's put our hands behind us, open up chest here. There we go, easy lunge side, all right? There we go. We're gonna take it up a little bit more now to get that heart rate going a little bit, okay? okay. Before we do, let's add some arms here. That's it. That's it. One more time like this. Okay, let's take a real simple walk in place. Here we go. Okay, here is called an upright roll. Hands okay. together, yep. let's go. Here and down. Great one for the shoulders and back. You know another good one for shoulders? What's that? A little shoulder press. Huh? And down. Here you don't even have to reach up real high. Just elbows a little bit lower to shoulder to above the shoulder. Okay. Those presses without the weight. Let's go. Let's take a walk back so I really get these guys moving here. Front, we'll go shoulder press. That's it. Just kind of air it out a little bit. Back, here we go. All right, last time. Okay, let's turn over at UOG and get the other calf stretch so we can get going on this movement here. Ah, that feels real good. Remember to keep this left heel or this heel on the floor. Okay, bring her down to OJ stance. Ah, this is my favorite one. I never put my hands down. Rock this hip, just keep the spine nice and long as we do this. All right, let's bring it down. Get the hamstring. Okay, let's take a nice, easy stretch. Remember, no bouncing. Okay, let's push your forward, take a walk up. Let's go. That's All it. Right. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna pick up the intensity just a little bit. Remember, you guys, I know a lot of you at home, you're sitting there saying, ah, I'm a little funny about a lot of aerobic classes. They get a little dancey, a little bit wild. Stuff, it's gonna look just like the sporting event movements, all right? That's right, I'm ready. Let's get her going. Okay, now a couple of times throughout this workout, I'm gonna refer to something as a talk-sing test. And all that simply means is if you can't talk or sing, like talk the way I am now or the way OJ sings, yeah. maybe you're working a little too hard or suggest you bring the intensity down. All right? Let's get her going, right here. Just simple step back with a leg. That's it. Push your back, push your back. Okay, one arm at a time, ready? Let's go, right here. Just make a right. fist, keep the palm down. Let's get her going. Both arms are ready, here we go. This is working what's called an anterior deltoid upper chest area. The very thought of you. Another one. See, I knew he was gonna do that. Good. 
Hands on hip, let's just step her back right here. Now, one of my favorite sports coming out. Ah, let's go. Actually, it is a great sport. It's a great physical workout. Let's go uppercut right here. What? Feel like that's Michael Moore. That's it. That's it. Feel tight. Feel the bicep. Feel the shoulder. Let's do it again. And remember, don't believe me. I do grow. Without hurting ourselves, huh? Ready? Let's take a walk. Here we go. Okay, let's do that whole thing over from the top game, but let's add arms. Ready? Here we go. Arms only. That's it. That's it. Now make it a little tighter. You know it. You feel good. Get the intensity up there. Both arms. That's it. See, you guys right. thought this was gonna be some dance stuff. That's it. Yes. Okay, ready. Here we go. Now, OG, I warn you. You come near me, man. This left hand. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uppercut ready. Yeah. Ooh. Boy, look at those biceps. I don't mean on you either, OJ. I mean, I'm not. Take a little walk. Here we go. All right. Let's open up legs just a little bit. Shoulder level, hands on hips. Let's go. And now, uh, and remember, you guys, using large muscle groups like the ones we're using right here, not only are we shaping muscles and strengthening joints, but we're elevating heart rate. Arms up. Let's go. Start here and down. You guys be real clean with your movements. Our right. form is everything. Ah, that's it. That's it. One more time like this? Okay, let's go every time. Ready? Here we go. Let's go here. Let's put a little bend in that elbow. Pull her back elbows. Yes. What do you say another eight? Well, you got it. Right in the middle of that back. Or like right skiing, in that leg. Huh? Yeah. A little over the mogul, huh? Okay, skiing. ready? Let's take it all the way over. Ready? Here. Oh, yeah. And down. Here. Now, I think this area, this to me is one of the most underdeveloped parts of the body, all right? Let's add some legs up with us right in through here. Right in that middle back. You've been sitting in the office all day, the shoulders rounding. Eh, I know the story. Got a little Arnold Schwarzenegger working here. Hey! Okay, good. Just roll up. Let's take a walk. All right. Okay, now. What do you say to a, practicing a little basketball shuffle? Looks like this. Here we go. We'll step together and we'll step together. Do it again. You ever see basketball players? They're way down here. Ever notice that? Well, it wouldn't be so simple if you were trying to guard me. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see? Let's go. Hands up. Let's stay a little bit lower. Here we go. Down. I'll push. That's it. That's it. If we have this, we need a shot. Let's go down and shoot. Down. Ah. Oh. Use upper body. That's it. Use legs and rear. Every time. Here we go. Here. Good. Here. Yeah, look at that follow through. Yes. Way up on the toes. If we have a shot, we have to have a rebound. rebound. That's it. Bound. <laughs> Way up. Here. Elbows outside. Into the side of the ribcage. Every time. Let's go. Here. Here. Way up on the toes. Huh? Whoa. Hey, Elijah on, right? Whoa. Let's walk it down. Nice work. Oh, a little yeah. surprise. Let's hit the floor, gang. Yeah. Whoa. Position. Tight abdominals, oh, safe. Yeah. We are ready. Let's go. Here and up. Ah, uh, that's it. I noticed the trainer is cheating. He's yeah. on his knees. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm even on my feet. Okay. Abdominals are tight. Rear is tight. I have no interest in seeing you do a lot of push-ups, but I do want to see you do them right. You don't have to do them all, you guys. So tight abdominals, tight rear. Heck, I'll do them on my knees. This is another way to do it. Good, I made that last one. Let's take a walk. Yeah. Right back into it. Keep it moving a little bit. Catch our breath. Oh, yeah. Nice push-ups, gang. How those chest and shoulders feel? Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Working up a little sweat here, too. You bet. <laughs> okay, let's get her moving here. Remember the old hockey movement that we did warm up? Got it. Ready? Let's go. Right here. Right here. Right here, just way up and down. Use large muscles, leg and rear. How about one arm with it? Ready? Okay. Let's go. You know, OJ, now that we're all warmed up, what do you say we start ripping this arm off? Oh, I like it. it. Just like that. Let's yeah. take a step with it. Ready? Here we go. Here. Here. Yeah. All right, I'm come down it. a little lower, you guys. Oh. That's yes. it. Okay, biceps. Let's see it. Right here. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Nice looking arm. Good deal. Let's take a walk. Ready? Here we go. Simple step back. Here we go. Here. Here. I 
love this next move we're gonna do. Here we go, right here. Now this isn't a, a punch like we did in boxing. This is a lot lower and a little bit tighter. I'm gonna stay with that chest and shoulder. Both arms, here. <sighs> See you guys, I told you we're gonna do a lot of movements involving a lot of muscle groups of upper body. Yeah. One arm overhead, here we go. Reach. Now you remember we did this in warm up? We used it kind of as like a stretch and a whip. Yeah. Now let's put the work into it. Both arms, here we go. Yeah. yeah, take her back four. Ready, one hand. One, two, three, both hands. That's it, that's it. Let's get that one arm overhead. All set, do it again. Oh yeah. Let's go, this is how we do it. Get that heart rate up there, stand with it. Push, push. Push, both arms, we're gonna take a break. Hard, hard, hard. Good, let's walk her down, all right. Okay, remember the talk Woo! thing test we talked about? Listen to your breathing. You can't talk the way I'm talking. Bring it down just a little bit, all right? Arms, let's go. Here, down. Now this works the middle section of the shoulder. Madonna's got some great middle deltoids right here. All right, all we need to do is take the arms up parallel to the floor. We don't need to go higher, that's it. You guys ready for a little fun here? Uh, yeah. Let's hold right here, all right? Ah, that's it, that's it. Great squat. Point fingers. That's it, arms nice and long, relax your neck. Here we go. That's it, that's it. Again, let's go. Here, here, here. Okay, let's go. Here, and back. Okay, we got it. Here, and back. Here, one more time like this. Now palms up, let's go. Start, squeeze, and push. Squeeze. Now what we have here is a bicep curl and a tricep press. Squeeze bicep, push tricep. That's it. What's that, huh? Two more. One more time. Good. Let's take a walk down. Ready? Here we go. It's so hard on mine. Been broke a thousand times. I'm still singing. You know? <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to that. Let's go. Let's now, go. this gives me a little problem with my knees to be jumping like this. So like we said, do the alternate. Do something you can do. You don't have to do every exercise. I'm gonna just walk in place. Let's give a turn. Now hands up, ready? Let's see that jab. Let's go. Put your elbow right in your rib cage. That's it. Good. Let's take this hand over the top, right here. Right here, you guys put your whole body into it. That's it. Nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna combine. This hand first, here, here. Hey. Ooh, how you feel? Hey, well, I'll leave you, so look. Walk it down, nice work. Better you can walk down like this. I'll take the liberty of walking down. I need a little air back. That's it. And I feel better, so what do I do? Right back up. And let's give her a turn. Ready, hands up. Let's go. Right here, right here, right here. This hand, ready, let's go over the top. Over the top, over the top. Combine, ready, here we go. Let's go, here, here. Do it again, this time real hard. Feel good, get it on. Take a break, nice work. Woo, oh, walk, nice work. Now, another surprise. Let's do another set of push-ups, but this time let's do them this way. It really worked the triceps, okay? Let's go to the floor, hands underneath the chest, ready. Let's go, start here and up. Remember, you can do this on your feet, or for those of you just starting off, you can hop down to your knees, which makes it a little bit easier for you. This exercise is terrific for shaping those arms. Abdominals tight, rear tight. Guys, it's your body. I don't expect you to do them all right away. Good goal for you, two more. One more time like this. Good, let's get back up, we're at it, here we go. Very nice, you guys. Uh -huh. wow. Yeah. Think how good I'm gonna feel tomorrow, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a comeback here. Okay, looking good. I'm ready for this, boy. This is happening. Okay, last round, you guys. We're gonna pick it up a little bit. Remember, there's alternative ways of working. Let's go for it. You know what we're gonna start off with? Just a little bit of road work. Ready? Let's go, right here. Once again, I'm doing the alternate. I can't jump because of my knee, so I'm just keeping moving. What I'll do is just get my knees a little higher since they picked it up a little bit. How about jumping jacks? Ready? Let's go. Can you do this? 
If not, just do it the way OJ's doing it. What do you say we do one arm at a time? Ready? Here we go. Here. Walk her down. Woo. Do you remember the basketball shuffle? Oh, yeah. I got it down. Let's go to it. All right? Got one wrong? Let's hit it. That's it. That's it. Hands were up. Here we go with a shot. Now, a little bit of an angle like this. Here, 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 here. Over, over, over. Now it's step, push, step, push. Let's go towards OJ. Ready? Here we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. This way, this way. Rebound. Ready? Up, down. Oh, down. Oh, down. Coming. Let's go. Get down there. Shot ready. Here we go. Down. Push. Use your legs. Use your rear. Use your upper body. Oh, I'm coming at you. Quick. 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 Come on. Quick. Rebound. Let's go. Here. Good. Here. Good. Road work. Ready. Let's go. All right. Well, I tell you, oh, you yeah. may not look like a perfect aerobics person. Like, I don't look like it. They know what they're doing. Do the best you can. You'll get the hang of it after a while. You know what? Another round of jumping jacks. Ready? Where we left off. Here we go. Here, here. Use the upper body. Powerful. Ah, yes. Get it going. Yeah. How about both arms? Ready? Let's go. Right here. Good. Here. Good. If you feel real good, let's go like this. Here. Remember basketball shuffle? Let's go. Here. This way. Shot. Ready. Let's go. Here. Get that follow through. Here. Push. Coming at OJ. Let's go. This is how we're gonna get the weight off you guys. Rebound, start up tall. Here, pull down, pull down, up. Here we go, this way, let's go. Jump. Oh yeah. Jump, that's it, way to get down there. Shoot, let's go. go Take that jump up. Good, here, one more time, here we go. Shuffle, stay low, that's it. Stay low, rebound, ready. Here, good, good. Here. Here. Let's take a walk. Nice work. Uh -huh. Got a talk sync test? Oh, as we said. Oh, yeah. Talk sync. Come on. Somebody else sing besides me. Ready? Let's go. Here. Oh, take it nice and easy. Remember, bring it down a little bit. If you feel real good, arm. Let's go. Here. Here. Now, you guys, we're taking it home after this. So if you're feeling real good, get that rip going. Repeat four. One, I feel good. Two. Maybe you're confused, but I'm feeling good. Five, two, three. Now, if you do feel good the way he is singing or attempting to sing, pull hard with that arm. Other side. One. Two. Let's take a walk. Nice work. Yeah. One big problem. We've done all the movements, but we haven't done OJ's favorite movement. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for my favorite move. This one. This one. Oh, yes. Okay, now I may be wrong, but I thought I was faster than him. Come on, come on, come on, come on get real. Let's, go, okay. Let's try it one more time. Okay, go. Oh, you see. <laughs> all right. Uh, after all of these years, okay. you know what I mean? Oh, great work, man. Great work. Very nice. Now, I tell you what. You can work out like this. Probably more important than the workout when it's over. In terms of how you're going to feel later tonight and tomorrow morning is the cool down period. You just can't stop your working out. You got to work down coolly. Even if you're in a hotel room, you just want to walk down the hall and go down to the lobby and take a walk. Do something to cool down slowly. Don't just stop abruptly. What's going to happen then? In the middle of the night, you're going to wake up with a Charlie horse, get some cramps, and just feel an overall stiff. So we're going to take a little time now to show you the proper way to cool down. That was terrific. You guys are great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. One time for the group, huh? Yeah. 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 Just remember. This is not a competition. This is a workout designed to make you look and feel better. So you don't have to push yourself. You don't have to kill yourself. Just do any part of it. Do as much of it as you can. And I guarantee you, you're going to look and you're going to feel better. Take the tape on the road with you. OK, hold on position. Ready? Let's just bring these feet in a little bit, hands on knees. Nice and tall with the chest. And let's just round the spine down. Exhale out the bone. Let's lift it back up. Expand the chest, up real tall, and exhale. This time, drop all the way down. Keep the knees bent. You don't need to look at the TV screen right now. Just let the neck and shoulders relax with a real big knee bend. Let's take one leg back. I'm going to do a lot of this sideways so you can see. We're going to place this back leg on the floor. If this is not comfortable for you, put one or both hands on the leg. Lift up in the chest. Inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Let's put the hands on the floor and switch legs. 
As we place this knee, again, we'll have the knee right over the ankle. The hip is dropped. Hands up on the knee if you're comfortable. One on the floor. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out. Let's put both hands on the floor. We're going to go down to a cobra position. This is terrific for abdominal stretch. Let's put the elbows underneath the shoulders. Or in some cases, like Desiree is doing, we can just go ahead and get up on the hands. Feet and knees together. Inhale through the nose and exhale out. Let's extend the arms forward. Let's reach back with one hand and grab the foot. The same hand grabs the same foot. This is a quad stretch. If you can't get the foot, go ahead and grab the sock. Try to keep your knees together. Good, let's switch it around. Other hand to a other foot. People that are tight in the quadriceps tend to increase the risk of a joint injury. So this is real important that we get some stretching following our workout. Oh, this feels great. Okay. Let's pull on over yeah. to the back, you guys. <laughs> Let's put the hands underneath the knees. Think that felt good? Oh, oh yeah. Give it a <laughs> Remember, a lot of men are very good. tight in the lower back. I'm going to address that issue now. <sighs> Is okay. this sweat that I detect? That's it. Uh, Running down my head here. The floor. <laughs> Take the other leg up. Now, this is called a hamstring stretch. Notice Robert is using a towel. He's wrapping the towel around the leg. Some of us are very tight through the hamstring. When you're tight in the hamstring, you increase the risk of lower back injury. So you can have your knee soft and go to a bend to a straight leg if you'd like. Let's switch it around. Let's take the other leg up. Now it's not important to be way in here. You can be way out here, but just have the leg straight so we can extend the back of the leg, the hamstring muscle. Once again, if you want to use the towel, it's a great idea. Feels real good. Try to relax into it. Okay, let's put both feet on the floor. We'll interlock our fingers. We'll also lay our head on the floor this time. As we're doing this, my head is resting on the floor, but the upper back is off the floor. Lift both shoulders up as high as you can to really extend the upper back muscles. And that's real slow and easy. Take the arms over the head. Remember to keep your feet on the floor and the knees bent. Now more than just lift with your arms, lift with your entire upper back away from your feet. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's put a hand underneath the leg. Let's roll all the way up. We're gonna kick the legs outside for a straddle. <clears throat> a lot of men tend to sit like this because they're so tight in the lower back. Feel free to place your hands behind you. Literally push your body forward. You can also bend your knees and that's a great idea as well. Ideally, we want to really get to the lower back and bring the hands forward. In time, you'll get there. Don't worry about it, just stay with it. Okay, let's shake the legs in, hands underneath the knees. Let's go ahead and extend the spine all the way up. Big inhale through the nose and exhale out. Let's do it again. Inhale through the nose as tall as we can reach and exhale down. Good, let's roll all the way up. To a standing position, just face front. And one more time, let's just go ahead and lift as high as we can reach. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose, expand that chest cavity and exhale out. You did absolutely great. Great work, you guys. Way to go. Yeah. Yeah. That is terrific. Just remember one thing, this is not a competition, it's an exercise for you to feel better. So just do as much as you can do, and do it a few times a week if you can. Carry this tape with you on the road, you'll feel a lot better. We just want you to look good and feel good. And you do this, I guarantee you do it. You bet. All right. All right. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Now we're all interested in weight control. Actually what we're really talking about is fat control. Here's the skinny on fat. The tendency for your body to either burn or store fat is directly related to how many calories you burn compared to how many calories you eat. In other words, if you burn more than you eat, you lose weight. If you eat more than you burn, you gain weight. One problem with fats is that they provide a very concentrated source of calories, nine calories for every gram of fat you eat. Since fat is loaded with calories, it's easy to overdo it. Another consideration is the type of fat you eat, red meat, whole milk, dairy products, fried foods, uh, rich desserts, chips, you've heard the list before. They are saturated fats coming from animal foods and tropical oils. They tend to increase your blood cholesterol levels, increasing your risk for heart disease. Then there's unsaturated fats, which tend to be liquid at room temperatures, vegetable oils and fish oils. While these fats are not likely to raise your cholesterol level, they have just as many calories. To reduce fat intake, Use substitutes like oil-free salad dressings, a vegetable spray for cooking, and other low-fat foods like 1% dairy products, fish, and skinless poultry. But remember, fat-free cookies and cakes are not a license to go crazy. 
That is not where it's at. Oh, talk about a great day, huh? Oh, beautiful. Right where we should be. Now, I used to think you had to run to get a workout like this. In the recent years, some people have said it's better to walk. Yeah, a lot of the research indicates that we can burn just as many calories walking as we can running. But it's a lot easier on the joints. Yeah, especially when a guy have a bad knee like I have, yeah, huh? Yeah, you got it, man. Well, I used to walk on the wild side. Now, I just take a brisk walk. <laughs> Refined sugar is the most used food additive we eat. On a typical day, we consume about one-third of a pound. Now, pure sugar contains only calories. In simple terms, that means it provides no vitamins, no minerals, no fiber. Sugar does help prevent spoilage and improve texture, but its main function is for flavoring. It's processed into soups, breads, salad dressings, spaghetti sauce, ketchup, and cured meats. Did you know that a can of soda has anywhere between six and nine teaspoons of sugar? Or that honey is pure sugar? On a food label, sugar can also be called corn syrup, fructose, lactose, glucose, dextrose. So to keep your sweet tooth happy, try a piece of fruit. Save that candy and cake for a really rainy day. And hopefully, you don't live in Seattle. All right, now let's start working those abs and the lower back. I like this exercise because I get to lay down. Now, these are problem areas for most people, so let's get the mat. And if you don't have a mat, take a towel and lay it out on a nice, comfortable rug. Yeah, you know, about 80% of us suffer some sort of lower back problem. And a lot of that can be traced to weak abdominals. So what we're going to do is show you some good abdominal exercises to strengthen the abdominals and help your lower back. Now understand, you're not going to get rid of those love handles or that pot <laughs> belly. <laughs> you got to do those aerobic exercises that we showed you earlier. That's right. And you got to exercise some good eating habits. And I can't guarantee you you're going to have a washboard stomach, but you will have firmer abdominals, good posture, and we'll take a load off that lower back. So how about we go to work? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, position. Hands on the side of the head or across the chest or shoulders. Let's go. That's it, real good. Relaxing neck and shoulders, pushing that lower back on the floor. When we do these crunches, let's try to keep our chin out of our chest. Imagine thinking of an apple or an orange underneath the chin. Why is that? Oh, we don't want to hyperflex that spine and be pulling on the head. We want the work to come from the abdominals. Simple two more. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and rotate. Ready? Here we go. Let's go up all the way back to the floor. Just a real slight rotation. The key to doing any abdominal work is relaxing neck and shoulders, squeezing the abs, and lifting the upper back off the floor. Let's go ahead and check in on OJ. See, those are our shoulders coming off the floor. That's what you call ab work. How about two more? We're going to go ahead and put the foot on top of the knee. All set? Let's bring this foot up right here. Up and back. All the way up and back. Now think about what you're doing, you guys. You don't have to do them all, but think of the squeeze. Two good ones, and we're going to move the leg with it. Ready? Let's go. In and back out. In yes. and back. It's kind of like elbow meeting knee right here, huh? Yeah. Think of the shoulders coming up and down. Sometimes I see people do neck sit-ups. Yeah. The shoulders never leave. Oh, yeah. You gotta work more time like this? Good. Let's switch the foot over. Other foot up. I, you know, when I played, this was your most vulnerable position because it was the only position that you couldn't protect with pads. Yep. You know? You see every great football player, you'll see a very strong stomach. Especially in the summer, you know? Yeah. Let's move that leg in and out. It was kind of fun. Going all the way back to the floor. <laughs> all the way back down. Yeah, hold that. One more time, we're gonna take a little break here. Good, let's take just a break here. Well, you gotta Ooh. have a break here, boy. <laughs> what do you say we bring both legs up, hands on the side of the head or across the shoulders, double end crunch, ready? Let's go, start. Crunch and back. Take a look what OJ's got going here. Both ends are coming up. He's pausing for a half a second, returning back down. One more time like this. Now let's go up and hold two counts. We'll go up, hold, hold, and down. Same thing. Up, hold, hold, and down. Same thing. Double end crunch. Hold, hold, 
up and down. See, sometimes the people like that momentum. They like to get that momentum going. Not here. We're going to go up. We're going to make the abdominal. Hold it. Hold it. Back out. Same thing. Up. Hold. Hold me. Two more like this. Oh, one more time. Up. Hold. Hold. Okay. Right. 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 Left. That's it. That's it. Oh. How about thinking about this? The next eight, let's raise our shoulders higher. That's it. We can do all by squeezing the abs. You know what? For the next eight we do, we turn more than normal. So we go way over here, way over here. Your thought is turning more than normal. That's it. That's it. Okay, last eight. Stay with it, you guys. Up with the shoulders. Squeeze the abs. Four to go. Here's one, two, three. Okay, let's take a little break. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah, yeah, the position, crunch up and back down. Crunch it up. How's your neck, you guys? Good. One more time like this. Okay, good. Now let's go three counts up and one down. Here's one, two, three, all the way back down. Same thing. One, two, three, all the way back down. Three squeezes. One, squeeze again. Squeeze a third time, back down, same thing. There's one, two, three. Now watch me this time. We'll come up on one, we'll extend for two, we'll come a little higher for three, and back down, same thing. Up, extend, a little higher, two more like this only. Up, extend, one more time like this, we'll take a break, here we go. Up, squeeze, higher, and down, nice work, okay. Down. Oh. Go ahead and put the elbows directly underneath uh, your shoulders. You're going to lift up nice and tall for an abdominal stretch. Now along with working the abdominals, we want to strengthen the lower back. So let's go ahead and extend the arms off. It's called contralateral position. Let's lift opposite arm and opposite leg. And let's bring it all the way down. Let's take other arm. Nice and tall. Head is up, face is down. Good, let's bring it down, other arm. Opposite arm, opposite leg, head is up, face looks light right at the floor, nice long spine. Good, one more time. One more switch, you guys. Opposite arm, opposite leg, stretch away from each other, head up, face down, and bring it down. Oh. Okay, a little back extension. With the feet and knees together, let's relax the legs and rear and place the hands to the side of the body. All we're gonna do is simply lift our shoulders up, hold it right there, Spine alignment, look right down at the floor, and let's bring it all the way back. Oh. Same thing, all the way up, look right down at the floor, not up here with the neck. Right at the floor, and bring it all the way down. One more time like this, shoulders all the way back, relax your legs and rear, and let's bring it all the way down, and let's go back to a nice stretch. Sit back like this, keeping the arms straight, the palms down, but keep the elbows off the floor, just let the head drop down between the shoulders. Your head pulling and resting one direction, the rear pulling in the opposite as we extend the spine. Okay, let's roll it all the way up. See, that was very good, you guys. How's that feel? Oh, oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That feels like a workout is what yeah. it feels yeah. like. That'll do it. That'll get it. That was fun. Now, all things considered, you can't go wrong eating foods high in complex carbohydrates. Fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, potatoes, pasta, cereal, breads made from whole grain, legumes, brown rice, and bran. They provide efficient, quickly available, and long-lasting energy. They're usually low in calories, and they're loaded with vitamins and minerals, which we need for good health. Now, when we were kids, they told us that these starchy foods would make us fat. Now we know the opposite is true. If possible, your daily diet should be more than half complex carbohydrates. Cookies, cakes, jellies are also high in carbohydrates, but they're mostly simple sugar. Many sweets are also high in fat. So stick to the complex carbs in the first group and you can't go wrong. And if you really want to eat cake, try a rice cake. For those of you who are into numbers, each gram of carbohydrate is four calories. You know, over the years, I've competed in all types of sports. Who would have thought that the one sport I wouldn't be able to master would be golf? I used to think it didn't take much athletic ability. Boy, was I wrong. You gotta have great hand-eye coordination, but more importantly, you gotta be limber. 
got to be able to make a big turn. So that calls for some flexibility in that lower back. You got to keep those legs good and warm because they got to be bent at all times. So you got to get that hamstring good and warm and some stretch in those calves and that Achilles tendon. Before you hit the links, hey, take out our video. Take a look at it. Do some of those workouts. I guarantee you it's going to take two or three strokes off your game. After sugar, table salt is the second most common food additive, and many of us eat as much as 10 times more than we need daily. Too much salt can lead to hypertension or high blood pressure, and also to edema, a fancy name for swelling, especially in your legs and feet, and often causes stiffness in the morning. Don't I know that? Most nutritionists recommend no more than one teaspoon of added salt per day. So to flavor your foods, try seasonings like onion powder, garlic powder, or low-sodium salt. Watch out for sodium-rich foods, and some of these might surprise you. Pickles, olives, hot dogs, lunch meats, chips, canned soups, and canned vegetables, microwave dinners, bacon, cheese, and crackers. Remember, you can still be the salt of the earth with a little less salt in your diet. Now, most of us spend eight or ten hours right here at work in an office behind a desk. Now, just because we're wearing a shirt and tie doesn't mean we should ignore our health and our fitness. Now, obviously, these aren't the best clothes to get sweaty in, but here's an at-work workout you can do to help you get through the day. And I guarantee you, you're not gonna work up a big sweat. Now, anytime you get a little stressed out, calm yourself by taking a few deep breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Now here's a five minute routine. You can do that will increase your circulation, relieve some tension, reduce some stress, and hopefully lead to a more productive day. Now we're gonna start with some shoulder shrugs. Okay, very simple. You just wanna do about mm, six or eight of these. Ah, get some of that tension out of your neck. All right? Then we'll move to an upper back stretch. Just lock those fingers, push them out there. Keep your back straight if you can. Feel pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> How about some chest contractions? Take your arms, interlock them. Now, you don't want to squeeze your arms down. Just push that chest out there, all right? Oh, yeah, like that, OK? Now, let's work on the other parts of our bodies. Let's go to our lower back stretch, all right? Pull a leg up. Try to lean into it. Mm, stretch that lower back, huh? Like that. Oh, yeah. And we'll get both legs in this time, okay? Ah. How about some legs extensions and some hamstrings, you know? Just extend the leg. Work on that quad, tighten it up a little bit, huh? Then pull back that hamstring. Ah. Most of these exercises you just want to get eight to 10 seconds. They're not long. As I said, we're not working up a sweat here. We're just trying to get that blood flowing, okay? Some uh, ankle flexions and extensions. Just Extend that ankle out there, extend it out good, roll it around there a little bit. All right, get them both in there, it's good. Get that ankle nice and loose, okay? How about some bicep and isometrics? Now, this is not recommended if you're a hypertensive person, so you can just avoid this one. Just get at your desk, get those hands in there, and a little isometrics, just pull up a little bit, huh? How good does that feel, huh? Let's get that blood going, huh? Yeah. All right, now let's make a fist. We've been sitting at that computer all day. We've been messing around with that typewriter. I've been writing, the fingers a little tight. Make a good fist. Oh, then let's just shake it all out, huh? Okay. Oh, boy. Now, sitting at a desk uh, puts about twice as much pressure on your lower back as standing. And sitting slumped over, <laughs> well, that's a lot worse. So you should get up and stretch every half hour or so. And while you're up, here's some stretches and exercises you can do that, that would augment your routine. Now, you don't have to do all of it, just a little something. Just keep active. This is a tricep press. Don't have to go way down, just a little bit. You know, some of us may want to go real deep and get a workout, but then you might start sweating. <laughs> Okay, now let's do some desk push-ups. Pretty easy because you're already all the way up here. So you just get yourself down here at the desk and just, just your normal push-ups. Shouldn't be too tough. It's about six or eight a day. Any more and you might work up a sweat. 
Then let's get to that chest. This is a chest stretch. Ah, just get those arms back, push them out, push that chest out there. Do this about, oh, eight, ten seconds. Now let's see if we do what I call our Akeem Olajuwon. We want to get it way up there, stretch that upper body. Oh, yeah, get it up there, huh? Feel pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's come back down to the hamstring. This is a hamstring stretch. Just sit back, lean back, till you can feel it right here, huh? Feel that? Uh, eight or ten seconds. And try to get the other leg. Oh, that's good. All righty, now let's do the calf stretch. Now, this is very important because one of the most serious injuries an athlete can get is that Achilles tendon there. So you want to stretch those calves and stretch that Achilles. And you have to keep your heel on the ground. Got that? Get them both, huh? Oh, boy, that feels good. Now, how about a quad stretch? Quads, pull back, get that stretch. Watch, stretched out there real good, all right? Get it on both legs. Now each exercise you do eight or 10 seconds, or you do an eight or 10 exercises if it's a push-up or something. You don't have to do any more than that. All right. Oh, that feels good. Now let's talk about what you put into your body during the course of the day. The most important thing you can drink is water. H2O, agua, bottle on tap on the rocks, however you like it, guys. I can't emphasize how important water is to you. It keeps your muscles and organs operating efficiently. It helps your body carry out all its functions, maintaining skin, it helps in digestion, it regulates temperature. I can go on and on. Water is it. Try to drink six or eight glasses a day and don't wait until you're thirsty. By then, you're already dehydrated. Now, you've seen these women, they're walking around, they got that bottle of water, what do you say? Hey, that's silly. Fellas, it's not pretentious. They got it down. Water is vital to your health. And regarding some of the other liquids you might have around the office, uh, coffee, tea, soda, not so good. Most have caffeine, which makes you lose water. A little caffeine is not too terrible. Decaf is better as far as I'm concerned. No calf is best of all. And if you gotta have something hot in the morning, I guess a little coffee or tea is okay. Hot water, lemon, or herbal tea, hey, add a little variety. Now it's about two, three or four in the afternoon. You're sometime in an energy slump. You need a little pick-me-up. Some sort of, uh, you know, candy bar, maybe a donut, some cookies, uh, uh, a bag of chips. Come on, guys, you know that stuff is not good for you. They're loaded in fat and sugar and offer hardly any nutritional value. Instead, try a little fruit. Some raw vegetables. You can't go wrong with a banana or some carrot sticks. Now finally, here's a little tip to deal with stress at the office. Hey, take a one minute vacation. I call it my little getaway. You know, close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths and just, you know, imagine you're at hmm, some favorite uh, vacation spot. You know, try to fantasize a little bit, you know? Think about the past, something that brought you joy. When I'm a little angry or I have a little too much stress, I have a little trick. I sit down, take some deep breaths, and I think of Mount St. Helens. You know, I think of uh, the explosion and all of that energy building up. And I see it exploding and shooting all of the dust and the stuff into the air. And I just get all of that energy exploding out of me. Then I see that dust begin to settle. And I see it sitting there. Then I visualize some cool breezes coming and blowing the dust away. <sighs> then I see the grass, just a blade of grass and begin to begin to grow. Then I see a whole hillside of green coming back in. I know it sounds silly, it sounds a little stupid, but it works for me. Now, you're working eight or 10 hours a day. Why not take five or 10 minutes for yourself? Trust me, it will make you feel better and help you be a little more productive in the office place. Okay guys, let's talk seriously about alcohol. I can't sit here and say I don't ever drink or that I'm totally against liquor. But this is one area where you really have to show some caution, some moderation, some discipline. Alcohol is really more of a drug than a food. It's got no nutritional value, only empty calories. Now a beer, six ounces of wine, or a two ounce cocktail all have about 150 to 200 calories. It would take one of our 25 minute workouts to work that off. So think before you drink. A glass of wine with dinner, a cold brew on a hot day, why not? But if you're at a convention and you're working hard all day and have to be sharp the next morning, cool it after one or two drinks. Who can really say they enjoyed their third drink? And for you number crunchers out there, alcohol has seven calories per gram. 
I've been doing a lot better since I've been doing that basketball shuffle for my workouts. Not bad for an old football player. Eat your heart out, Shaquille. <laughs> one take! One take! I love this game. <laughs> All foods contain some protein, but some are much better than others. Protein provides structure for our body's tissues. It is necessary to build and repair existing tissue. Fish, veal, skinless poultry, and low-fat dairy are better sources than most for protein because they are lower in fat. Foods like beef, whole milk, eggs, and peanut butter certainly provide proteins, but they are high in fat, so eat them in moderation. Grains and many vegetables are also good sources of protein, but if you still crave a steak to feel manly at a splurge on, look for the leaner cuts like flank steak and be sure to trim the fat. And each gram of protein has four calories. Now, when it comes to airplanes, that's where I have plenty of experience. An example of a day I had not long ago is that I started the day in New York. I had to be in Chicago for a breakfast meeting and a little talk. I had to go to uh, Denver to interview a player. I had to go to Dallas to interview a couple of his former teammates. And I was back in New York by midnight. Now, that's an extreme example. But normally, I'm on a plane three or four times a week. So an airplane in many cases is like my home away from home and this seat quite often is my office away from my office. Now over the years I've had plenty of opportunity to develop some tips about uh, airplane travel. One and probably most importantly is you should drink six or eight ounces of water for every hour you're in the air. This will cut down on dehydration which is one of the major causes of jet lag. Now occasionally I'll have a beer on a plane but I try to stay away from hard liquor or caffeine drinks because they also tend to dehydrate me. You go easy on those free peanuts because they're loaded with fat. When I can, I'll order a special meal in advance, usually a vegetable plate or fruit or low cholesterol. When I have a long flight and know that I'm gonna be arriving in some town late, I try to plan ahead and try to map out my schedule so I don't eat too late and go to bed on a full stomach. Now, if you can, book an aisle seat. That'll give you more room, it's easier access to get up and walk around and try not to cross your legs because that can restrict circulation. Now, there's a lot of exercises that you can do on an airplane in an airplane seat, which is similar to the ones you saw us do in the office. Now, let's start with a simple one, the, the neck rotation, you know? Very simple, don't disturb anyone, just get it going. Get those shoulders going, a little shoulder rotation, back and forth, try to get that blood circulation going. You can stretch a little bit, stretch the upper body by reaching for a light. <laughs> You know, or reaching for the air, that's not too bad. Here's one that's really kind of funny. It's called the buttock squeeze. <laughs> I'm not gonna really show it to you, but if you're sitting behind a guy and you see his head doing that, <laughs> you can bet he's doing the buttock squeeze. And then the leg stretch. For me, this is the most important because my legs really get stiff. You just take both feet, you put it underneath the seat in front of you, try to stay constant. You don't want to disturb the person there. And just, it's like isometrics. You just get that blood going. And then there's a heel roll. Put your feet flat on the ground. And this is for that Achilles, you know, all oh, that shin back there. Just get that heel going, toes up, you know? Now, keep in mind, the longer you're on a flight, the more often you should get up to avoid stiffness and help circulation and just energize your body. Now, Richard is gonna show you some of the exercises you can do if you find the opportunity to stand on an airplane. I'm gonna show you some additional exercises you can do from a standing position, and it doesn't take a lot of room. Just start by taking the arms over the head. You know, you've been sitting for a while, you've been all crunched in your seat. Just go ahead and extend up as high as you can. Feel a nice length into the spine as well as the upper body muscle groups. Hold it about eight seconds and bring it down. If you feel like doing another one or two, feel free to. After we get finished with this one, let's go to the upper back area. Real easy, take the arm across your body, take your opposite hand, place it on the elbow, and squeeze back into the chest. Now we know this area right here holds a lot of stress anyway. Just let it lengthen right from the back and neck all the way down through the shoulder. Hold it again as usual for about eight seconds, and let it go, and we can do the other side as well. Whatever you feel comfortable with, six, eight, ten seconds right in that area, real good. Let's go to the front, the chest area. Like OJ showed you in the office, let's interlock the fingers behind the back. You can interlock the fingers, and real easy pull the shoulders behind the back. Uh, not only does it get the chest, it also gets the anterior deltoid. So we're really getting that shoulder lengthened out and moved around a little bit. 
Stay nice and tall with this, and as usual, hold it about eight seconds. Feels very good. Good, let's bring it down. Now already, we feel better through the chest, and we feel better through the upper back. Let's go down to the lower back for a minute. Anytime you've been sitting for any amount of time, you get out of that chair, you feel real stiff through that back. So if you can find a place just to maybe lean against like one of these chairs or the wall, just place the arms underneath the leg, just real gently bring the thigh toward the chest. Even lean forward just a little bit with this. Again, don't bounce it. Hold it around eight seconds. Don't forget, do the other side. Same thing. And the lower back instantly perks you right up and you feel a lot better. One last idea I want to talk about is a little rotation for the lower back. This time, let's bend the knees a little bit, place both hands on the hip, and just rotate the shoulder real slow, real easy. You don't have to go far. You'll feel a mild tension in there. Stay right in there and let her go. And of course, do the other side. As usual, hold these for about eight seconds. There we go. I have a hunch, you do just these handful of exercises, a couple times throughout your flight, you're gonna get off that plane with a whole lot more energy. Well, every so often you find yourself booked on a full flight and stuck in the middle seat. You don't even have a shot at an armrest. So what can you do to make this flight more comfortable? Well, you might try putting on your headphones and listening to your favorite music, or wear a sleep mask, or just get up and stretch more often. Oh yes, one last tip. On a flight like this, you might also pray for the strongest tailwind in the history of aviation. We used to call it roughage, now we call it fiber. It improves regularity and helps prevent diverticulosis, hemorrhoids, hiatus hernia, prostate and colon cancer. We think of it when we talk about bran and cereal and whole grain bread, but there's also a lot of fiber in vegetables like asparagus and broccoli and peas and zucchini, carrots and potatoes, and fruits like apples, strawberry, pears and bananas. Perhaps the best source of dietary fiber is legumes. Now those are beans and peas for you guys who slept through your biology class. Now tennis can be a good aerobic exercise, but it doesn't always keep your heart rate up because you get the rest between serves. So before hitting the court, get a full body warm-up, concentrating on your shoulders, your hamstring, your Achilles tendon, and your lower back. Tennis, anyone? Oh, get that top spin backhand, huh? <laughs> Oh, hi there. Okay, you know the routine. You just had a long flight, you had to circle the airport for a half hour, survive a life-threatening cab ride, a futile check-in, you couldn't get upgraded to a suite, and the room you were supposed to have wasn't ready either. So finally, you get to your room, all you want to do is flop on the bed, check out that mini bar, and look at a movie. But not me, I want to do some minimum maintenance. Hey, just a second, I'll be right back. Quick change, huh? Why do you think they call me Juice? Seriously, guys, if you have five minutes in your room before your meeting or while you're waiting for room service, here's a quick fix workout that'll get your body ready and help it rebound from the rigors of flying and hold you over until you can do a full workout with Arte. Now, I like to start off walking. I know you say, hey, I walk from the airplane to the cab, from the cab to the hotel, I had to get up to my room, I'm loose, but hey, let's be on the safe side. Get a little walking and get it loose, then we'll go right into some squats, all right? Oh yeah, what they do for you is that they get that heart pumping. All right, then we're gonna go into some tricep dips. Now you can do it at a, at a drawer or a chair or even on a bed. I'm gonna use this chair here. Once again, if you just wanna work out, hey, do six, eight, 10 of them. If you wanna do a big workout, hey, you can do a whole bunch of them. All right, let's get down on the floor and do your favorite push-ups. I'm gonna do it with my knees on the ground. Oh yeah, you don't have to kill yourself. Just get warm. Don't forget to breathe. All right, let's move it over. And after all those hours on the plane, let's get a little nice, easy abdominal crunches. You can do them with your hands behind your head, your legs up if you want. I'll put my hands right across my chest. Let's get those crunches in. Oh, yeah. Get that nice, firm body. Huh? Get that good stomach. Let's get some of those contralaterals, strengthen that lower back. Don't forget, the key here is to do opposite, all right? You got it? Opposite. Yeah. You know, that's great, great for the lower back. Okay, let's go around here to the T position. All right. Now 
this is the one I like the most because this is mandatory every morning at the Simpson house because I play a lot of golf and I got to be able to get that lower back nice and loose so I can make a turn on the ball. Ooh, I can feel my lower back popping there. That's perfect. Oh, I love that. Ah, this is mandatory in my morning workouts. All right. You can do it each way. Do it as long as you like, but try to get at least 30 seconds at a time. That's good. And while you're working that, let's go down a little lower and let's get those hamstrings, okay? All right, I'm going to use a towel. You don't necessarily need a towel. The key here is to keep the leg that you're trying to work straight. The other leg you can put in any position you like to put it in. But this leg you got to keep straight and you want to hold it for about 30 seconds also. Let me get the other side because this is something that I really need. My biggest problem normally is my lower body, not so much my upper body. Okay, now, let's move into a little straddle stretch here. Now, you know this one. When you're in school, they used to do that hurtless stretch, and they did this straddle stretch. All right, big inhale. Let it out. Let's reach it out there. How's that? Pretty good. All right. All right, we're going to get back up on our feet now, huh? How about a standing calf stretch? This is, once again, I've said it a few times, this is the protect that Achilles tendon, stretch out those calves. You want to keep your heel on the ground, not up like this. You don't want it up in the air like that. You want it flat on the ground. Try to stay, keep this knee above your ankle. Don't go too forward. All right, let's move it to the other side. Okay, all right, stretch it out there, babies. Keep that heel down. Okay, how good is that? All right. Come on, guys. Now, this is going to take you about five minutes at the most, and you'll be ready for just about anything. If you want a full workout, hey, just double or triple the time. You can do it for 20 minutes. You can do it for a half hour. But just take five minutes out of your life, and I guarantee you, guarantee you, you're going to feel better. You're going to be better. All right? This is not for me. This is for you. Well, there you have it. Minimum maintenance fitness for men. Working out, eating smarter, dealing with stress, and getting and staying in shape. And speaking of shape, in the near future, I know a lot of you well-rounded guys out there are going to be looking a little less round. The bottom line is, when you're feeling healthy and fit, you'll achieve more at work, go better on the road, enjoy yourself more at play, and be a better husband, father, and lover at home. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care. I'm O.J. Simpson, and you know me. Oh. And if you don't know the difference between a carbohydrate and a carbo, carbo blah, 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 between a carbohydrate and a carbo uh, <laughs> carburetor, carbohydrate and a carburetor. Jeez, why can't I get this? Here's one, two, three. That's it. This way. One, <laughs> two. Other side four, here we go. One, <laughs> two, three. Other side four, here we go. Here's one. And when I do have free time, I like to get out on the golf ball. Of course, oh. Feeling better is what it's all about. So let's get into some minimum maintenance. And Juice, you gotta do this from the top and get it all the way through without any <laughs> But I try to stay away from hard alcohol. All in all, think of taking vitamins and... Uh, that's what I'm here for. To rob... And finally, here's a simple tip. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is what we call easy pin. Uh, no, 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 Eat your heart out, Shaquille. Come on. Eat your heart out, Shaquille. Ooh. Eat your heart out, Shaquille. Oh, you. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Shaquille. One take, one take. I love this game. 
Perhaps the best source of dietary fiber is in legumes. Now those are beans and peas for you guys who slept through your biology class. Legumes? I said it right? Okay, that's right, that's right. Legumes. 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 Yeah. Legumes. Legumes. Oh, my butt is falling asleep on this legumes. Oh, I'll tell you, this do I look like right Arnold here. Schwarzenegger here, guys? Tell One me about it. One of the most <laughs> underdeveloped parts of the body. <sighs> Ready, let's go. <sighs> That's it. Let me tell you something. This is uh, like a low impact. I'm feeling a little sweat here. <laughs> <laughs> Want to work those buttocks on this one, right? That's Get it. them out there. That's it. Tighten them up. Yeah, this is no competition here. This <laughs> is just a workout for you to feel better. <laughs> just do something. Do what you can do. Oh, I feel yeah. like Michael Moore. Oh, this feels great. Feel like I'm skiing, going over those moguls, you know? <laughs> Look like you're skiing. <laughs> is this okay. sweat that I detect? Yeah. This is like the Watusi, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, little Akeem Elijahwan here, huh? <laughs> this way, let's go here. Feel like dancing. See what I mean? Get loose, and I feel like going. You know, getting ju loose juice, as they call it. <laughs> <laughs> We've covered all the sporting event movements except football. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You ready for your favorite? Yeah, I'm a little favorite. The key to playing football is keep those feet moving. In traffic, no. they say keep those feet moving. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was faster than he was. I think Madonna was faster, too. You know they call me the juice? What are you, this guy's talking to the juice this way. All right, let's see how fast you are. Three minutes? You, you judge this. On your mark, it says go. Oh, you see. <laughs> all right. <laughs> After all of these years, okay. you know what I mean? Oh, great work, man. Great work. Very nice. Bring it up. That was very good, you guys. I made it. <laughs>